to provide some closing comments talking about the synthesis of conference dialogue is the chair of the Sustainable Seas Independent Science Panel, Ian Perry. Ian is from British Columbia, Canada. His research expertise includes environmental influences on the distributions and recruitment of marine organisms, the structure and the function of marine ecosystems, developing ecosystem-based approaches to marine resource management. He has been involved in the scientific leadership of international programs on marine ecosystems and global change. Ian, welcome to the stage. Thank you, Bahia. We're almost there. Just stay with me. All I have to do is, all I've been asked to do is to uh, synthesize the discussions of the conference in less than 15 minutes. Yeah, right. Sure. Uh, you haven't seen uh, all the notes that I've taken here. I've got notes on each of the presentations. So I'm just going to go through those really quickly. And uh, no, I'm not going to do that either. Uh, I've, I have benefited in my comments, preparing my comments here from discussions from a couple of my uh, co-members on the independent science panel, Ingrid Van uh, Putin and a Eddie Allison, who are in the, in the audience, but they're, this is me. So they're, they're not going to join me here. And they, they'll help me if I get struggling, uh, struggle if there's any questions left as well. Um, so you also notice that I haven't been everywhere. I haven't been listening to all of your conversations. But I have talked to all sorts of people here. I've talked to iwi. I've talked to school teachers from up north. I've talked to academics. I've talked to university students. Um, I've even talked to government officials. And, uh, and from those, um, that, those discussions, plus listening to each of your presentations, I want to provide you with uh, these, these thoughts. As a Canadian, uh, we, in Canada, we have an un, unusual, well, I don't know if it's unusual. It's a, it's, I think it's an unusual quirk. In Canada, we're not assumed to have su succeeded until you get um, uh, uh, ratification or impressions from outside of the country. And for us, that usually means the United States. And I have a bit of a suspicion that maybe you in Aotearoa, New Zealand, have a little bit of that same kind of quirk. You look for validation outside the country? Well, I'm here from outside the country, overseas. Uh, I've spent a lifetime uh, career working in the field of, that, uh, of ecosystem based management. And I'm here to tell you that you have uh, done a f fantastic uh, job. You have a fantastic program. You have fantastic accomplishments. Um, I I've seen, an, um, so I started with this in about 2015. And I've seen an amazing change from what was at the time a pretty uh, world-leading standard ecosystem-based management program to something that now is, that there's nothing like it anywhere else in the world. And I can say that to you uh, sincerely. Um, and so you should be very proud of what you all have accomplished, as I am proud to be associated it's kind of like the, uh, the you know, the, the, the coattails of the rich and famous. I get to be brought along by your your fantastic accomplishments. And Volker, you know, you meant you described a really nice um, goal for 15 years from now. The world comes to Aotearoa, New Zealand, to learn how you managed to um, enable Kaitiakitanga and ecosystem-based management. You're already well on the way to doing that, and I would see that if you play your cards right going forward, and that's something I will get to at the end of my comments, um, you will be there and you will, you will be the center of the world for this kind of, um, these kinds of efforts. So I'd like to invite you in the context of storytelling that Joe uh, was, is so good at, I'd like to invite you along with uh, our journey in, a, in Awaka through some of the highlights that I um, have uh, drawn out from the, the three days of the conference. And let's see if I can get this thing to work properly. OK, so we'll start with this morning. Cumulative effects and multiple stressors. And at the end of that session, Bahia, he was depressed. And he was depressed because it sounded so depressing. Um, the 
cumulative effects of multiple, of multiple stressors, th things can get really bad really quickly. They can overwhelm system resilience, and it's really hard to tease apart to know what to do when you've got everything so messed up. But understanding how that can happen is, is halfway there. And by the end of that session, I was actually buoyed up. I was actually quite positive because we ended up with a, a presentation at the end of the session which talked about developing multiple approaches and tools for assessing risks and uncertainties of EBM, and which, and I think this is really important, and which can link to the Mataranga Maui. So those are some key aspects coming out of, of that, which, which led me to believe that there's some hope. Yesterday, those of you that were not here yesterday, you should, you should be ashamed, because yesterday was a fabulous day. Uh, on our panel, we spent a lot of time reviewing proposals, um, reading quarterly reports. We, have, we thought we have a sense of what's going on in the, in the challenge. But to see the presentations yesterday, to see the excitement, the enthusiasm, uh, was absolutely incredible. It was a day filled with poetry, with song, uh, with visual arts, and I would add with inspiration. At least I was certainly inspired. And some of the, the comments that came out, if you take care of your Maori, it takes care of you. Mataranga Maori uh, is alive. It's thriving, and it cannot be ignored. It's essential to the, the challenge of sustainable seas, and I would add it's essential to the Aotearoa. We heard about HAPU-led uh, research partnerships, which have a clear understanding of what they need from the sustainable seas. And in that, case, in that particular project, it was capacity, develop, uh, de and capacity and capability development. We heard about how restoring balance is essential, and uh, with, with the particular example of the overabundance of sea stars, and how Mataranga Maui and non-Maui uh, science can work together. We also heard exciting work to claim and preserve traditional knowledge to inform the transformation of marine monitoring and marine management practices, and the, the work to build potential futures, the future triangle. And although he didn't say it on um, yesterday, it was said on Monday and again today, Maru, I don't know if he's still here, Maru, yeah, Maru Samuels said, and you heard it again today, give us the ball and let us run with it. To which I would add, you're not alone. The rest of us are on your team. Wednesday, the blue economy. Uh, again, on the independent science panel, we had been pestering the leadership team about what are you going to do about the blue economy? What are you going to do about the blue economy? Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, well, from what we saw on, on Wednesday, you have got there in spades, and it only took you about two years once you actually got down to it. Uh, and I think that you took the right approach. You didn't take the kind of the big overarching challenges. You looked instead at focusing on innovative um, initiatives with seaweed, with bioproducts, and um, uh, uh, natural uh, sort of other, other things, that new sectors that you can b build up. And then in addition to that, there was an interesting presentation on um, funding options for ecosystem restoration and the roles of large investors, not a kind of a topic, almost a banking sector, which we haven't really discussed all that much. And if we come back to today, the end of this morning, there, was a present, there were present, several presentations on governance. Uh, we heard about multiple and fragmented legal structures, which is inconsistent with the integrated ecosystem uh, pro, uh, the, the fact of an integrated ecosystem. Um, but it was also, I, I was interested to hear that the, uh, the researchers there didn't feel that a single legal instrument was what was needed. What instead was needed were better multiple policies and better laws, the hooks and anchors aspect, which I think is a very powerful uh, visual image. But as Robert Joseph, also in that session this morning, uh, so eloquently said, words are important. Context is important. Meanings can change and can lead to miscommunication. There is mana in words. And so with that thought, 
I wanted to um, just finish up a little bit by focusing on some keywords. This is a, actually a, a building on something that Stephen Harris said at, this, at the synthesis of day one and that Anuru Luke said at the synthesis of day two. Um, is, is some key words. And in the context of our waka, or now our waka taura, I'd like you to think of these as stars guiding your voyage forward. I'm not going to define them. You will, I want them more to kind of resonate in your mind and bring up the images of who was mentioning them, the context that they were, the context that they were mentioned in. And I'm going to go through these fairly quickly, so don't blink. Um, Fakapapa. Kaitiakitanga, Tikanga, Mataranga. You'll notice these are all the Maori words first, right? Uh, Maori, vision, impact, value, values. I put those two together because they are different. One has an economic context, the other has more of a social context. Knowledge, opportunities, relationships, Partnerships, stressors, communications, trust, resilience. Overarching those, all of those are this afternoon's discussion of synthesis. And synthesis, synthesis it's also the what comes next aspect, uh, is the last major challenge for the challenge. That's a small C and then a capital C. Um, and I have to pass along my congratulations to the challenge leadership for not leaving synthesis to the end. The typical thing with synthesis is uh, for large projects is to say, oh yeah, we'll get to it, and in the last year, okay, now let's synthesize everything. Synthesis is not easy. You are finding out that it is very difficult. And unfortunately, I've been through synthesis with several programs, and each time you do it is different because each project is, each program is different. So you have to find your way. Um, and in my view, you are finding your way very well. There's still some things to be worked through, um, but you will get there. So synthesis is what positions the challenge for what comes next. And we don't know what comes next. And kind of where I'd like to leave things and leave with you is Teongo Tuku Iho legacy. What will you leave to the students that come afterwards to the regional managers that are wrestling with real problems and need tools and need knowledge in order to resolve them. How can you position the challenge uh, for that legacy rather than like many scientific programs, it just when it's over, funding goes away, people follow the money elsewhere, and it's there in the literature, but not really in practice. How can you move the challenge to impact. That is the challenge, small c, of um, synthesis, but I know that you will get there. It's been a fabulous three days. I've been incredibly enthused and, and buoyed by what you are accomplishing. I would like to congratulate, this will probably happen anyway, the leadership team, Julie, um, all the, the challenge leadership uh, leaders, and the challenge staff. The, these conferences, especially this kind, just don't just happen. So you are to be congratulated, and all of the participants of the meeting and also of the challenge activities. Um, I'm going to go back to Canada and certainly tell people that you got to pay attention to find out what's going down in Aotearoa, New Zealand, because they're going to be leading the way. Thank you.